Hello, welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Well, you probably wonder what the old fool's up to today. Now then, let me just do this one and I'll explain. I've completed my guttering on the shed here. And uh, well, this barrel was empty uh, up until before the snow. And then the snow came and the roof here is probably, well, it's five sheets of eight before. So it's quite a massive area. Um, what's that about? I don't know. Two, six, is it nine, 12? Yeah. A lot of square meters. And uh, <laughs> I'll work it out one day. Uh, and so the snow melted and within a day, this had filled up. And so I can't waste water. I found another blue barrel. The problem is I've no way to site it near the drain pipe. So I thought what I would do is just for today, is physically empty the water from this one to this one. And then in future, I'll work some system out where I can get the water. But obviously, if I can fill this one up, I can top that one up. It's not too much of a problem, is it? And also, I get a bit of exercise in with the bargain. Now, whilst I continue doing this, I'm going to send you off to see another viewer's garden. In fact, we'll go to two gardens and how they started last year on their gardens. And first of all, we're going down to see Saffron and Barnaby down in Glastonbury. And in fact, Saffron and Barnaby were one of the first people to join Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures, to subscribe and when they were the first to start sending pictures in. And here we can see, well, their early attempts at growing all sorts of things. You had a good sunflower competition, you grew uh, strawberries. In fact, you were the first person actually to send me a picture of strawberries and your know, radishes, of course, they look wonderful. You had tomatoes, you had beans and all sorts of things down there in Glastonbury. And uh, you kept pictures coming. And uh, well, I thank you very much for that. To Saffron and Barnaby and well now we're going to go across to Rotham to see Kate and Dan and the girls and uh, well you were some of my youngest viewers to start with and it's wonderful to see what you were doing and you've luckily got a greenhouse and you started in there you were planting your seeds and this was the last year and you had lots of tomatoes I know off from those seeds and peppers and chilies and uh, you were very well organized you had your pens and your labels and you labeled everything <laughs> like me i was quite unsuccessful at that at times uh, but this year i'm more organized in fact speaking of which i'm going to take you into the greenhouse now and show you what's developing well, here i am inside the greenhouse as planned and under here are all the seeds that i've been well sown the last couple of weeks and they're on top of my heater here in the greenhouse so let's reveal shall we what's going on i'll just roll those back to the back here and these that haven't yet come up. As you see, I've got my peas on top here. Now in here, we have, brilliantly, these little ones here. They are broad beans, which is magnificent. And in here, I've got lettuces coming. So I've got, oh, lots of lettuce. And this is a pick and grow lettuce. So eventually I'll transport those into something else. Under here, well, we have just some flowers and uh, they're coming up beautifully actually and these are in this row here which is coming up very very nicely we've got some sweet peas so they'll be outside attract of course the bees and uh, that'd be lovely to get those on the allotment to, to help of course keep the pests down as well as taking all the nectar we've got tomatoes coming over here now these are um, a cherry tomato which is rather lovely and uh, we've got some more cherry tomatoes as I said, we've got onions coming, we've got leeks coming as well. So it's a really exciting time. And these I've put in very early, actually. They're probably two or three weeks ahead of where we need to be. But now we're in February. We can start uncovering them a little bit, but they do like the warmth. Well, I'm back outside. I've finished filling my water butt and uh, looking forward to when the other one is full again. I'm just preparing for the summer. But once again, thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you to Saffron and Barnaby and to Kate, Dan and the girls for their pictures from last season. And I look forward to seeing your pictures from this new season. I hope you have a very successful growing year. We'll be here twice a week. And uh, well, I'll see you very soon here on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Tell her for now.